just get... More into Lemon's inventions than Lemon is orange. How about a jetpack? I have an alternative. Hey, Plum. So I traversed here to inform you that the Big Apple City Science Museum is holding an inventing competition in the park today. And I deduced that Lemon might be a perfect candidate. Eh, competitions aren't my thing. But they are my thing, and inventing is your thing. This could be a perfect our thing together. Please, it could be so awesome. Uh, I guess. We're in. I'm as giddy as a gigawatt to see what gizmo you devise. We're gonna win this thing. Yay. I wonder who your competition is. Oh, lime tart and lemon tort. Lime, lime, lemon, lemon. I'd say may the best fairy win, but that would give us the advantage. Lemon is the best inventor I know. Ha! You must not know many inventors. <laughs> Come on, Lemon. Welcome one, welcome all. Each team has been tasked with inventing something to help every baker be their very best. Bakers, yeah. are you ready? <sighs> well, then you may begin. Looks like a robot. We can beat a robot. Oh. <gasps> They're fast. Hurry up. Go faster. Wrench. <sighs> oh. Yeah. Nailed it. A high five. Why are they high fiving? We need something to high five about. Come on. No, we cannot lose. We've got to get. We've got to do nothing. I quit. So, what was that all about? We were having fun competing, and then Lemon stormed off. You were having fun competing. Maybe that's not Lemon's thing. Sometimes I forget. Not every berry loves competition quite as much as I do. You're not having fun, are you? Inventing is fun. You pressure me to win, not so much. I got carried away. I'm sorry. I love winning, but I love having fun with my awesome inventor friend even more. If you want to have fun, I have an idea. Oh, man, I'm so I, I give you the big old medic! The left them play fluffy. Next up, lemon meringue and orange blossom. A jetpack! A jetpack? Well, what does that have to do with baking? Your robot serves one cupcake at a time. But with this jetpack, you can share your baked goods with every berry. How very helpful for a culinary connoisseur like me. On behalf of the Science Museum, I declare Lemon Meringue and Orange Blossom as our winners. Ah! Now this is awesome! Still awesome! Still awesome! It's Bite of the City. The Peculiar Purple Pie Man has a special holiday announcement. Indeed, Kiki. Buy one of my frozen purple pies, and if you find one of these five tokens baked inside, you've won a month's supply of my new frosted mini pies. <laughs> Aw, the Purple Pie Man's feeling the winter swirl spirit. We should buy a pie. I won't buy it, because I don't buy it. He's cheating. I know it. How? The tokens are in the pies. You aren't putting the tokens in the pies? Of course not. Why should I give away a month's supply of mini pies? Because that's what you said on TV. Niece, we let the customers think they can win, so they'll buy more pies. It's a victimless crime. Every berry wins, except the customers. So what about the tokens? Lock them in the register after the shop closes. And don't forget the alarm. I don't need some dishonest berry 
stealing a token to collect pies I have no intention of baking. Wow. We need to get those tokens and get them into some pies. But we can't do it alone. We need to put together a crew. We need a berry who knows her way around the berry works. The compass. So, uh, is there a way into the purple pie shop that isn't the front door? Yep, there's an air shaft leading right to it. We'll need a berry who knows tech. The Brainiac. Never build anything strong enough to suspend a berry in the air. Automatic licorice dispenser. Yippee pie yay, berries. We need a berry that's light, fast, graceful. The feather. You, uh, mind being upside down? Does this answer your question? And a berry to watch our backs. The eyes. I can see the past, the present, and the future. Just waiting for Sour to leave, then Orange can snag the tokens. Over. Huh. <laughs> huh. Sour Grapes is gone, but there's some scary purple lasers on the floor. Careful, Orange. I've got this. That was easy. I can't believe it worked! It almost didn't. Good thing Sour Grapes left the tokens out for Orange. Huh? Let's give Kiki Key Lime a call. Jingle bells, snort cake smells. Ah! I can't believe Sunberry found all five of your tokens. What? That can't be. Oh, yeah, it can. No, 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 there's been a mistake. I got the tokens. Give me my pies. They're still my pies, and I won't give them away if I don't want to. <clears throat> oh, you, sir, I didn't help Mommy. <laughs> Claire's dad runs some shady business in Fruit Leg Alley. Not the kind of berry you want to mess with. That's why we gave her the tokens. Mission accomplished, berries. We're a pretty good crew. My tinsel team, the Strawberry Six. Or maybe the Shortcake Seven. Oh, come on! I've never seen so much snow. What are we supposed to do all day? It's a snow day, we're doing it. A snowstorm is the universe's way of saying, slow down and relax. I need plans, I need to-do lists, I need to be doing something! Ever since the purple pie man moved into the berry works, I've had to be on my A-game. I can't relax! I have to come up with more baking brilliance. Mmm. Sock cobbler, anyone? First of all, Ew. Second, no berries getting anything done today, so just take it easy. Delivery to Mrs. Rumcake, Mr. Mangosteen, Peach Trifle. Fly, my pretties! Fly! No berry is getting anything done except the purple pie man who is selling his frozen pies to all my best customers. Where are you going? She digs fast when she's freaked out. Ah, Lemon, I need to get in my truck. Do you have an open Sesame 2000? A teleportation device? A rocket launcher? I mean, if she wants to blow something up. Uh, no. Almost got it! <gasps> hey, girl. Listen, I'm always thinking about baking, too. But it is okay to take a day off. Especially when there's nowhere for customers to buy anything anyway. <gasps> You're right, Raspberry! If we want customers to come to us, they need a reason! We'll build a snow oasis! <laughs> that is not what I meant. If we build it, they will come! <laughs> we should probably follow her. I think that's for the best. Ooh, this could be a snow couch, and here a snow 
snow chair for two berries to curl up in, and maybe a snow oven? Snow oven on it. Watch and burn. She's about to lose it. Ah, oh, well, what are you gonna do? That's it? You aren't upset no berry is coming to your little made-up snow shop? Nah. Building all this and having fun with my best berries was kind of perfect. Besides, it's nice to slow down and take a day off once in a while. You know what I mean? Yeah, if only some berry had said something like that to you earlier. I still don't love that the pie man is selling so many pies today. <laughs> I wouldn't worry. The pie man's not the sharpest knife in the drawer. And you gotta be smart operating machines in cold weather. Otherwise, the batteries freeze. Fusionberry. It's the technology and innovation website. Every tech head in the city reads it. And that makes you nervous? They want me to talk about one of my inventions. You love talking about how everything should be bigger, stronger, more powerful. To my friends, not to some science stranger. Morning. <gasps> Who should do it? Me? I don't know anything about your inventions, but. You're so good at talking and words and stuff. Come on. Hey, Barry, good rotation on Earth access to you. I plump pudding for a fusion berry. You must be the incomparable lemon meringue. <laughs> I'm not lemon. This is lemon. Pleasure to meet your intellect. Oh, at, uh, of course, formalities are an unnecessary precursor. Please, show me your best innovation. No. I know, right, Lemon? Who can pick from so many great inventions? I mean, there's the Dream Clean 3000, which exploded. Oh, the Sparkberry Turbo Cooler. Oh, yeah. Um, the Cake Nader? So many Cake Naders. Great inventors are always trying and failing. That's inventing. What's your neural noggin working on now? Oh. Oh, that's a uh, lemon. What are you doing with my cat? I call it the Kitty Cannon! Oh, marvelous. Such precision. Such <laughs> 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 Fascinating. Uh, might you have any inventions that perhaps are less of the exploding variety? Uh. <gasps> yes! She does! Ta-da! My very, very oven! Oh, it's an oven. Not just any oven. It's got a, um, well, it's actually hooked up to the, well, it's pink. Oh. Strawberry is a really good baker and has to serve lots of customers. This is custom made bigger for maximum bakage. And extra racks inside, and it's hooked up to the truck's Sparkberry energy intake, so it's extra powerful, just the way Strawberry likes it. Just to be clear, not all my inventions are pink. I knew she had it in her. Perhaps a demonstration of baking might be in order? Fresh from my 
one-of-a-kind lemon meringue made oven. I call it a galaxy cake. That was galactically good. Lemon, thank you for an illuminating afternoon. I'll post the article tomorrow morning. <laughs> Ta-ta for now. Not bad for somebody who doesn't like talking about herself. I'm glad Strawberry was there to speak up for me. But I'm also glad she has no idea how to talk about tech stuff. It helped me figure out how I like to express myself. Outstanding oven helps Strawberry Shortcake bake it big in the city. Lemon, I am so sorry. I shouldn't have talked so much. That article is fantastic. It's all about my oven, not me. And the oven looks amazing. It sure does. Maybe more of your inventions should be pink. Don't push it, Shortcake. Turkey roasting? Check. You, uh, you sure your mom is okay with you not going home for the holiday? Oh, yeah. I told her how excited I was to experience my first fairy bounty banquet in Big Apple City. A small, delicious celebration. Ugh. Uh, Aunt Praline, um, do we have any extra space for the banquet? Uh, how much space are we talking about? Oh, just my friends and also their entire families. Did you invite their entire family, Strawberry? Berry there. Me familia S two familia. Maybe there's not enough space. There's not enough time. There's not enough food. It's impossible. Did you just say impossible? Impossible's my jam. We've got our work cut out for us. When things go wrong, then we adjust. If it's tough, don't get stressed. That's when we're at our best. And if you're it's crashing down. We'll turn it back around. We'll turn it back around. If life knocks you down, knocks you down, you get back up. If it knocks you down, knocks you down, you get back up. Turn it all around, all around, and get back up. If life knocks you down, knocks you down, you get back up, 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 up. Might seem impossible, but trust me, we're unstoppable. The two of us won't ever fall. Get out of our way. Together we are number one. Turn problems into something fun. Before you know we will be done. We're saving the day. Don't ever think that you're going under. We never give up. Very show them that thunder. And if your world feels like it's crashing down. Fabulous, shockingly efficient. Yeah, we really are. Not to mention lucky. <laughs> you were saying? a very important cupcake order. Oh, not 
now, Custard. I have to finish this special order before tomorrow. It needs to be perfect. Forgot what? This way! Huh. Strawberry. Uh -uh. Forgot. Custard! Birthday! <laughs> birthday! Strawberry forgot Custard's birthday! What now? Are we talking about this birthday? The one that's tomorrow? Huh? <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Didn't you notice me say these needed to be perfect? Or what the main ingredient was in this important cupcake order? I was going to throw a surprise party tomorrow, but since every berry and every pet is here now, I guess we get to have the party a day early. Happy birthday, Custard. Happy birthday! My costume is perfect. Great Ball is all about being scary, and a scarecrow literally scares crows. <laughs> Right, Custard? I overheard Raspberry Tart and the other Mean Berry saying they didn't think I would even wear a costume to the annual Frightfall Ball. They clearly don't know this berry. Let's show these big city berries no berry does Frightfall like we do. Why are we the only ones dressed up? <laughs> this is my nightmare. Shortcakes, what are you wearing? It's a Frightfall Ball. Why isn't every berry dressed up? No, this is Peach Trifle's fall ball. But Raspberry Tart said... <laughs> <laughs> nice costume. You're definitely the scariest thing at this party. <laughs> yeah, you really need to stop listening to her. What is going on over here? I'm Peach Trifle. This is my event. You are... Strawberry Shortcake. I'm a scarecrow, and this is my crow custard. Costumes and cheap scares aren't really what I'm known for. I throw the grandest parties in Big Apple City. Every berry loves them. No offense, but maybe your party could use some costumes and cheap scares. Excuse me? It couldn't hurt to try. The harvest moon hangs in the sky. Scarecrow scare as crows fly by. Somewhere close, a howling cry. Bright time has begun. This night feels so mysterious. Chills and thrills in store for us. Don't take it too serious. It's, it's time, time to have some fun. It's a frightful night, so chill and delightful. We're in Austin, scare a friend. The thrills and chills don't have to wait. A frightful night, so join in the fun. Delicious and bright -tack you learn tonight. Do you wanna be? Just use your creativity and let 
get your inner monster free. And jump and scream, boom! It's kind of fun to be afraid and watch the creatures on parade. Add candy and you've got it made and tricks the whole night through. It's a frightful night, so chill and delightful. Spooky shadows everywhere. Have fun, cut loose, let down your hair. A frightful night, so join in the fun. Delicious and frightacular tonight. Shortcake Big Apple City's annual fall ball is no more. From this year forward, I shall throw the Fright Ball Frightacular! You scared the strawberries out of me! It's nearly frightful! It's my first Fright Ball in Big Apple City. I need to come up with a creepy cupcake. I'm sure you'll come up with something frightfully fitting. <laughs> oh, if you see the ghost, say hi for me. <clears throat> I'm sorry, the what now? <gasps> Blueberry, wait up! Hold on. <laughs> Did you say ghost? Yep, J. Quincy Cupcake. He was the owner of the Berry Works when it was still a cupcake factory. Oh, J. Quincy was a perfectionist who checked every cupcake for that tiniest blemish. Come tell us from him that! Some folks say his spirit still roams the berry works at night. Who judging any baker working late and alone? But you've never actually seen J. Quincy Cupcake's ghost, right? Huh? Oh, golly, I wish! I've tried to meet him for years! Maybe tonight you'll be the lucky berry. Have fun! Cool, 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 cool. Great, 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 yeah. Not creepy at all! <laughs> Strawberry Shortcake is scared of ghosts! Let's give her a frightful treat she will never forget! Ooh, okay, it's fine. It's totally fine. You're just gonna grab your lucky spoon and bake. There is absolutely nothing to be scared of! Woo! Just the lights, Strawberry. It's just the lights. Stop flickering! Just a plant. <laughs> oh, it's a rusty sign, strawberry. <laughs> you're just gonna, you're gonna get it together. <laughs> be like blueberry. Be like blueberry. Be like blueberry. Holy hazelnuts! You're never gonna find inspiration for scary if you're too scared to be inspired. <sighs> Calm down. All right, what's that? Bad plumbing? Seriously? <laughs> <laughs> There's bake in my present. Me? No, no bacon here. It is you, strawberry shortcake. No one likes your gross country treats. Go back to bury them. Yeah. <laughs> the universe told me strawberry was the lucky berry, and now I finally get to meet the ghost of the berry works. Put her there, Mr. Cupcake. Hey. <laughs> oh, have you met Strawberry Shortcake? She's a perfectionist, just like... Huh? Hello? Well, this is the J. Quincy Cupcake. Oh, we should try one of your cupcakes. No, Blueberry, they're hot. That's fine. I've got ice cream fingers and he's a ghost. Ow! That's hot! What are you... Oh, M. Gumdrops. <sighs> I knew it. Raspberry tart? Sour grapes? Bread pudding? Why are you trying to scare me? <gasps> That's it! Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you! Ow. Just checking. It's 
my spooky surprise cake. Each bite has a new hidden flavor waiting to shock you. Raspberry, then grape, then bread pudding filling. Mmm, that is terrifyingly tasty. How did you ever come up with it? Really, Blueberry? 